I'm Bubba Cohen and welcome to this week's Bubba Time. A little later on we're going to head up to Surfside, talk with the mayor, city manager. I'm here in front of Beach High with Bruce Singer. Surfside, the mayor, city manager, they really know how to run a city up there, don't they, Bruce? Well, they know how to run it on the north side of Miami <laughs> Beach. <laughs> Not that. And then a little bit later on we'll talk with Charles Brent, uh, Songwriters in the Round, which uh, takes place the first Tuesday of every month at uh, Power Studio, of course on the other side of the causeway, but they used to do it here on the beach at uh, Tony Goldman's place, right? Right, down at the park. Central. And you know, you're wondering why I'm here in front of Beach High with Bruce Singer. Hold up the letter a minute. Uh, okay. Now, Bubba, is, Bubba time. Is the B for Bubba time or is it for Bruce? You know, actually, it's for Beach High, the Miami Beach Alumni Club. That's what we're going to talk about. The Alumni Club, how did this come about? Well, Dr. Renoir, who's the principal of the school, uh, contacted me last year and said we need to start an alumni club for Beach High. And that's mm. how it started. And of course, Bruce and I are graduates. Bruce is a lot older than I am. I want you people at home to realize that. Graduated 69. Right, and I think you were right there behind me. <laughs> and of course, I graduated in 70. Hey, we got a little uh, memorabilia here. The old, uh, hold, hold on to the microphone a minute. While I'm almost talking here, you know, you can talk. The All old, right, look at this hey, football the team. Of course, in 1970 is the year Beach High went undefeated, and there's old Bubba number 63. I even have my jersey on. I actually fitted with pads on under there. Right now, the jersey's a little skin tight over here. Yeah. Some of the people involved with this. We also have a lot of the old timers. Uh, not cursing now. The son of Beach is uh, involved the, the, in this also. The I am. SOBs. I am Sons of the Beach Organization. This goes back to the beginning of time with Beach High. Beach High is going to be celebrating their 75th anniversary in the year 2001, and it all began down at Fisher Feinberg, which was the first Beach High School hmm. until 1960 when they moved up here to Dade Boulevard. And we have the old timers, and of course, when we moved up to Dade Boulevard, we became High Tides, which Bruce and I are uh, part of that family. And we have a lot of the high tides involved also. Who are some of the people on the committee, Bruce? Well, there are 21 members on the committee going back to the 1930s with Joe Gardner and Stu Jacobs up to recent time, which is me and you, yeah. Peter Coleman, uh, Mitch Kinzer, who's a councilman up in Surfside. Mm -hmm. So 21 dedicated people to get this uh, alumni club going. And you people at home, if you went to Beach High, and I know there are a lot of people watching, uh, class of 75, the last year I coached there. Of course, I'm talking about Warren Kaplan, Jerry Jacobs, uh, the doctor. Uh, God, I have a memory blank on me. Bunch of guys from uh, 75 also living on the beach. How can they get involved? Well, the Alumni Club is a $15 fee to join, which covers our mailings. And there's a number of things that the club is going to be working on. Number one, the 75th anniversary in the year 2001. Number two is we're creating a Hall of Fame. And every year we're going to select four inductees. We have some very famous alumni of this school, including uh, Robert Rubin, who right now is the Secretary of the Treasurer under the Clinton administration, Roy Firestone, ESPN, mm -hmm. and the list goes on and on in terms of our distinguished alumni, and all of us have yearbooks and have memorabilia, and we're going to get this school to establish a memorabilia room to secure all of this information because that is part of the archives of the city of Miami Beach. And you people who may have not gone to Beach High, if you have kids, this is where they'll hopefully be attending. It's a terrific school with such a rich history and so many wonderful, great people that came out of this high school. Well, if they did go to Beach High and they want to be part of this, is there a phone number they can call or how can they uh, become part of uh, the Miami Beach uh, Alumni Club? If they call Miami Beach Senior High School or the Miami Beach Chamber of Commerce and ask about the Miami Beach Senior High Alumni Club, they will send them to me. So I don't have to give them phone numbers, just Beach High or the Chamber of Commerce. Right now, over 200 um, alumni going back to the 1940s have already sent in their $15 and have joined. We've done about 4,000 mailings already. So uh, within a year, hopefully, we'll have five or 600 alumni that have joined this. And we're going to be putting out at least twice a year a newsletter to all the alumni, put little write-ups about what everybody's doing, and keep them informed about the progress of our community. So you old-time typhoons out there like Lou Hayes and that group, and of course, you high tides like myself, Bruce, Judd Hayes. We got a father and son combination over there. 
Uh, this is something you really need to be a part of to celebrate the rich history of Beach High School. Bruce, thanks for being with us, and we'll be right back after these messages. Thank <laughs> you.